Hello YouTubers. Today I'm gonna go ahead and change that uh, upper radiator, radiator hose on this uh, 2011 535i. We had a bad rainstorm last night here in uh, Amarillo. I mean hail, uh, winds at 70 miles per hour. So got kinds of leaves on this. You know, some of it. And basically this is an update on what I've done here. Let me explain what happened here. Okay, on the last video I did, I just repaired this upper radiator hose. I ordered the other one. I've had it here for a while, but I was gonna try that and it did work. It worked awesome. Uh, what I had fixed on that other video was this right here. I had cracked it or broke it off and it may be leaky now, but that's due to my uh, negligence. I'm always moving around stuff on this motor, pulling out the radiator fan, pulling out this tube, pulling this hose out and out. And I disturbed it just like right now you saw me hit it. And I hit it pretty hard, so eventually I'm probably have cracked that already. But that wasn't the issue. The issue is up here. Get off. I'm not gonna show you how to take all this off. You can look at my video on the, the serpentine belt on this beamer and you'll see how. I'm just gonna try to get this done real quick. Okay, I haven't cleaned the engine so y'all could see what's going on. See, it's it's leaking from way in here. I put a O-ring from uh, Harbor Freight and it worked for about two months and now it's squirting out of there and it's getting on the alternator and you can see right here, green stuff is shooting all over here. So I'll clean it after I get it repaired. Uh, I went ahead and ordered an O-ring uh, OEM, but that still didn't work. That lasted less than the one from Harbor. It lasted like a month and then it started shooting this again. But like I said, I'm not gonna show you how to take this because uh, I, mean, I hate to do that to you guys, but I'll, I'll walk you through it real quick. Uh, you wanna remove, uh, you've got a couple of bolts right here. Lift this tab up. You're gonna have one, two, same thing on this side. One, two, and those are uh, T40, I believe. That's how they look. Make sure. Yes, it's a T40. And you remove those four. Then you're gonna have lift this top up. Let me do this one. Lift, lift this up, and you have two more right here. And those are uh, T30. Yes, T30. And that's what these look like. You have two here, two here. Same on this side, lift this tab and you'll have two more. And then you're gonna have uh, two more T30s right here. One right there, one right there. Then you'll have this one, I guess this is a T40 right here. It's kind of tricky, but look at my video on the serpentine belt or tensioner. And it'll show you how to take this off. Like I said, I'm just wanna get this done real quick. And as a matter of fact, I didn't have all these on right now because I knew I was gonna be doing this later on. So I lift them off and that way I wouldn't have to mess with them. And over here, when you take this off, I think this one's gonna be a 16 millimeter and this one's a 15 millimeter. Just loosen them up, boom. That'll get out of your way. And then they should come off once you took it off the bolts I showed you. See, I just hit it again. I heard it crack this time I did. I think I did crack that. Okay guys, you don't have to remove what I just did to get to this. 
you can do this with the radiator fan on and everything else but when I do a video if I can I like to remove as much as I can so you can see exactly what's going on okay now we're gonna take this hose off by putting a screwdriver on this clip and pulling it out okay okay now we're ready to pull this out and you are gonna uh water is gonna come out it's probably gonna gush out depending how much you have and use both hands that wasn't too bad okay we done took this one off and coolant came out of there so i'll just put it there then we're gonna take this one off, same thing. You got a clip here, lift it up, out it comes. And they've got little uh, grooves in here. See that groove right there? It's supposed to line up with this little notch right here when you put them back in, same with that one. So keep an eye for that. Keep an eye out for that. And uh, there's the other clamp. Let's get a, set the camera in there. Okay, the clip is right back here on this one it's kind of hard to get if it's hard to get just come up here where the clamp is right here and push it back this holds out of the way just push it back do you see it come out right here now when I push back on this one it came out right here now I can grab it just trying to get out of y'all's way Pull the clamp out just like you did over there and pull this out. Come around this way. Great, like everything's falling. Gotta wiggle it around if you need to. Try here, but be gentle. See if you can get it unstuck. There we go. See, it's coming. Make sure you push this all the way back. Here we go, more water. Now this is loose. And now we're gonna just get pliers and the bottom uh, clamp. You see it down there? It's this one right here. All it is, you use pliers for that one. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my hose clamp tool on this one. Let me just wiggle it out, guys. It's hard to get to with the camera and the lights in the way. I'm just trying to stay out of y'all's way. There he goes. More water. And more coolant. That's all you do is clamp it like that. Alright, here's a new one. Said I've had it, I ordered it from Auto House, something like that. I need to get parts on them. Here's the new part, looks just like it. And it comes with the clips. So I'll save the old ones. I'll throw the holes away, the old one, but I'll save these just in case I need them. Look, it even comes with that clamp. It's held on with this little plastic thing to hold it. And here's the old one. That's where we did the repair. It worked, but like I said, I moved that around a lot by messing with the car. All right, there's all the old clips I'm gonna save. You never know when you need them. And don't forget when y'all do this, guy, don't forget you've got an O-ring and then this plastic thing that you have to put in there. Don't lose it. Uh, I'm sure this side has it too, yeah. You can see it in there, so always. Be aware of that, don't lose those. I'll show you on the little one also, the little one has one in there. So just be aware when you do these kind of jobs, make sure these O-rings don't come out 
or you lose them make sure they go back in all right let's replace this okay I'm gonna install that bottom one first it seems like that'd be easier so it goes in like this boom okay it's very hard to get in here with the camera so what I'm doing is I'm taking that clamp I already got it hooked up on my tool and I'm sliding it sliding it in kind of all the way back here so when I put the uh, this holes in there like I said it's gonna be hard to see guys and I'll probably knock the camera I've been trying this for about 30 minutes where y'all can see it and I just can't get in there without getting in y'all's way guy put a little lubricant if you can on that hose make it go in easier Okay, I see. I got it in there. I gotta turn it the right way. Do a little twist in there. I told you that camera's gonna go everywhere. I already knocked it. Oh! Oh, I thought I broke something. It was just a tool that came undone. Okay, see, that's where we were at down here. Getting this together. Still on there? Right here. Okay. Now the clip came undone, so I'm gonna have to clamp it back on. Bear with me. It is a very hard spot to get to with the camera. I kept knocking it off. I think I tried it like five times and every time I kept knocking the camera down. Just want you to get a good view of it. Okay, I got it with the tool. Now I'm gonna work it back here, right here. That's where I want it. Make sure it's secure. Make sure it's <clears throat> good. And I'm comfortable with it right there. Let me line it up and release the tool. Ouch! There, see, we got that clamp on there. Now I can get you a little bit closer. There, we got that clamp, that's what we're going for. Now the rest is it that hard. Okay, I just went ahead and did this one. I, I didn't show it because I was having a hard time. All I did is pushed it real hard till it snapped in there. And I'll show you how to do this one that y'all can see real good. Now again, remember, you have to line this up. These little grooves with these notches or else it won't go in and you don't have to pull this out you can if you're having a hard time try pulling it out I don't have a screwdriver okay so what I'm talking about if you're having a hard time getting this in you might want to pop these this clip out but you don't have to you can be in okay line it up and push it hard see how it snapped that's what, how those are made. Same here again. Make sure you got the cable the way it's supposed to go. I think this goes through the bottom. Line up those notches. Snap, crackle, pop. Give it a tug. It's in. It's in. Everything's in. Okay. Yep. That's how you replace that hose. And like I said, guys, it's just an update because I already showed you how to do it, but it was a repair last time. All right, guys, look, see, that's why I told you, pay attention. Now you're gonna make me work harder. I gotta pop this clip up where it locks, pull this out, and this cable goes through the bottom. Did I tell you how to pay attention? Come on, guys. Just kidding, it was my mess up. I'm the teacher here, so, okay, this time I pushed it in with, with this up, now push that clip down, and we're good. Yeah, it's supposed to go through here, so it'll run down through the, this side of that uh, hose. 
All right, I got it all put together. Let's put on the coolant, put in the coolant. And I get this stuff at Walmart. I know everybody talks trash on Walmart. I don't. Uh, probably 90% of the people go to Walmart. I mean, where else we're gonna go? I know there's Target, but Target doesn't carry some of the stuff that I get there at Walmart. Walmart's real close to me, and so far I've been able to find everything I need, or mostly. And this is a lot cheaper. It's like 12 bucks for this. That one. That one. And uh, I buy it at uh, O'Reilly too, but that's uh, $20. Comes out a little bit less with my veteran discount, 10%. Uh, or buy it at BMW for 30 bucks. All right, let's fire it up. I made a mess on the floor, water everywhere. Let's take a look, see here. Leaks. Looks good. bird in there. I'll let it run like that for a little bit, circulate, and then uh, I probably won't do it today. I've got something else to do, but I'm going to go take it to the car walk, clean up the engine. All right, YouTube, I just went out, drove it around for a little bit, uh, went and got me some dinner, take home, you know, pick up, and uh, they're good. Didn't even uh, heat up or nothing. Okay, youtubers it's been a week since i changed this upper radiator hose and it's not leaking it's holding remember i had all those little spots over here of cooling and the alternator had all kinds of cooling on it well it's holding just to show you uh yeah another thing i've been wanting to mention on my videos i apologize if i don't get back to you i try to answer all the questions uh but sometimes i don't get for some reason i don't get the notification and once in a while i'll go through all my videos trying to see if i got any new comments and i do find them they're like a week old one was a year old so i do apologize for that uh ladies and gentlemen i always try to get back at you i don't mind questions negative or positive uh thanks again for watching uh like always god bless you and good luck